Well, our next guests are giving a local family a chance to experience desert artworks for free for a year. The Tucson Desert Art Museum features desert landscapes, native faces, and jewelry crafted by Four Corners artists. Mimi Maloney and artist Lawrence Lee are here to tell us all about it. And congratulations to you. This just opened. Thank you. Yes, it did. Tell us more about it. Well, the gallery is part of the Tucson Desert Art Museum. If you've never been to the Tucson Desert Art Museum, I highly suggest a, a trip. Um, it is right at uh, Sabino Canyon and Tanca Verde. And um, we have a wonderful gallery with uh, artists that represent the desert southwest. We have, uh, for example, Lawrence Lee. Um, he is a very well-known artist. His works are in museums and, and um, collections across the United States. And uh, so I invite you all to come visit our, our gallery and museum. And you have a spring reception coming up we soon. We do, this Saturday from 5.30 to 8.30. The public is uh, welcome to attend. And uh, you'll see some other artists that we have represented at the gallery. And we also have jewelry. We have uh, Native American uh, jewelry from artists. And uh, we also have the Patania jewelry. Of, uh, it's a three-generation um, uh, jewelry artist from uh, local Tucson artists. So. So yeah. And Lawrence, you will be there. I will be there. Tell us bet. about some of your work. Oh, I do. Uh, I've, I've been doing it, it seems like, forever. <laughs> um, if you listen to my mother, I was probably an artist in second grade, but really I've been doing serious art for 45 years. I've been a professional artist, in other words, making my living exclusively from my art for 35 years. Wow. Um, and I, I have uh, gravitated toward doing something that's very odd, in my opinion, and that is that mostly I paint very um, magical, shamanistic, uh, very strong uh, images of people. And uh, I, don't, I don't know why, because I'm very literal and interested in the sciences, but there's this mystical part of me that comes out in the painting. Well, I know a lot of people love uh, what you do with faces. How, how is your art inspired? Oh, how is it inspired? Uh, it, the inspiration is a difficult process that is, is internally organized. Mm -hmm. I begin with the vaguest of ideas about what a painting is going to look like. Then I make some basic choices. What's the size going to be? What's the orientation going to be? What kind of colors am I going to use? And then I get a piece of vine charcoal and start drawing on the canvas. And people say that it's the first line of drawing that's the most important because everything else relates to it. And that's true. As I draw, I listen to what I'm seeing. I, I, I watch what I'm seeing and the inspiration comes to me from the painting. You know, the great artist Michelangelo, uh, as a sculptor, said, it is reported, that the figures he sculpted lived in the stone and it was only his job to remove the excess stone away from the figure that was there. And I feel that way relative to my to my paintings too. I, I'm watching because after a certain point, absolutely in the creative process, the painting takes over and I'm just along for the ride. That is so interesting. Thank you for sharing that with You're us, welcome. Lawrence Lee. Mimi, thank you for coming in and have fun. We're gonna tell everybody about your, you. your reception yes, coming up right yes. now. Thank you and come visit the museum also um, all summer long and uh, we have children's classes, adult classes. So, yeah, so you're all welcome. All right, Perfect. thank you very much. The Tucson Desert Art Museum is on Tanca Verde and Savino Canyon Road. The museum number is 202-3888, or you can learn more online at www.tucondart.com. Saturday the, the, the 19th is the spring reception. Again, that's tucondart.com or 202-3888. And right now we have a Tucson Desert Art Museum one-year family membership to give away. If you would like a chance to win it, just head to our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com, and click on the contest page. Coming up on the Morning Blend, we've got advice for anyone who ever thought about becoming a foster parent. And riddle me this, Sally. What happens when you talk to your iPad?
Um, well, nothing happens when I talk to Mike. Oh, well, now I can activate your TV <laughs> to list all of your favorite shows, and we'll show you more about this new smart TV system right after the break.